due time for me to have a real camera for YouTube so you guys don't have to deal with that ugly horrible footage version of their original G7X. Got it for Christmas and somebody got it for me and I am so thrilled. They left a little note. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah girl, no problem. I know you wanted it so bad for Christmas so I just dressed up as Santa and delivered. Can I give you a hug? Uh, no, this is getting weird. You're losing viewers. Okay guys, I'm gonna open it up for the first time. I'm so excited. And all of my subscribers currently, you guys are such troopers because when I watch other YouTubers and they've got like their all special high quality 4K HD Carmine Cinemas videos and then I'll have to edit mine and like it's horrible. Mine are just, it's like being back at the movie theater for elevated seats all in the same row. You sit behind someone tall. That's how I feel when I'm editing mine. I have been watching several videos about this beautiful camera. So hopefully I have a head start on trying to figure it out. Okay, here's the gym. Oh my god, I'm touching it. That's another thing, guys. I've never gone to like a Best Buy or Walmart or something and actually held it. I've just watched like thousands of videos on this camera and knew for sure it's what I wanted. This is my first time touching this camera. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. You guys know I love cold things. It's so great. Oh my gosh, look at it. This is the best thing ever. I'm so excited. I can't, I just can't hide it. So a few things about this camera, in case you guys are unfamiliar. It was released a couple of years ago, so it's not like a new thing, but it's new for me, and it's definitely an upgrade from the iPhone. <laughs> Which my iPhone works fine when I'm like doing sit-down videos here at my desk, when the sun has faced me when I'm on the other side of my desk, and I'm talking about the CPA stuff or accounting or whatnot, um, because it's like still, and the light's coming in, so th those videos are fine, but when I'm vlogging, as you guys know who have watched my travel vlogs at all, which don't get hardly any views, Probably because you guys are here for accounting stuff. But I love traveling. I'm passionate about it. Once I'm done with my CPA, I do plan to do lots of travel vlogs. So it was time for me to get a camera and get used to it. So the next step in my upgrading process will be to upgrade to an actual good quality editing software. Right now I'm using a free software and it does its job. But there's a lot of like features that I wish it had. But it's free then again, so I'm not having to pay for it. So I plan on um, upgrading to the Adobe Premiere here soon, but your girl's gonna have to jump on the monthly plan from the way my bank account's set up. <laughs> so one of the main features that drew me to this as a vlogger, as other vloggers are drawn to this camera, is the flip out screen. So this screen goes all the way up where you can see yourself when you're filming so you know if you're in the shot and if you're in focus. It also goes all the way down like this, so if I'm up high trying to film a mole on some guy's head in front of me, I can get the shot perfectly and make my video complete. I'll know it's in focus. Also, the screen is a touch screen and not a lot of cameras have the touch screen feature. And me coming from using my cell phone for focusing, like I'll touch whatever I want it to focus, I'm very used to that. So if I had to go to a non-touch screen and have to like push buttons to figure out what to focus, that would be a huge adjustment. So even though I don't have it on right now, you, you push like where, wherever the object is in the screen, you'll touch it and it'll focus just like a cell phone. Also, this camera is one of the best for autofocus. It's really quick with autofocus, and you guys will see that in my videos, but when you hold it out and you're filming, if things are moving in your background, it'll stay focused on the main object. Also, if you're filming other things, it'll keep focused on whatever you have it focused on. You can also switch between focuses, but that wouldn't be auto. That'd be you manually clicking which object in your screen, in your shot, that you want to focus on. You can charge this camera directly from the camera if you want, if you charge in a mini USB. Or you can put the battery in the charging thing and it'll light up green when it's full. So it'll say if it's charging or if it's full. And you plug this into the wall. Oh, great. You gotta push it. I don't want to push too hard. I don't want to break it. Battery's in there. It's probably a dead battery. You know how these technology companies are. 
Also, if you're using it for photography, not video, or I guess you can maybe film with flash, but it does have flash, just like the old timey cameras. It pops right out. You use this little switch on the side, and then you can manually close it. This also has great image stabilization, which will be very nice for my videos because I vlog a lot walking around and it's really shaky as you guys have noticed in my videos. So this just automatically without having to edit anything will stabilize your video so it'll be a lot smoother, won't be as jittery, and it will keep me from having to walk around looking like a pedophile as I'm trying to keep my video stable with my iPhone. <laughs> So today I'm vlogging and I look like an old man. This camera is really great for low light situations. It has just a natural, it allows light in and you can change the aperture um, and whatever you focus. There's different settings to change the lighting, but just naturally standard settings. It does really well in low lit situations, which is key for me because my apartment's dark or wherever I'm at inside buildings is dark. And my iPhone, it is several, it's like a five year old iPhone. So it's not the you know newest and greatest, but it was terrible in low light situations. So that will be awesome. I enjoy that feature already without even seeing it. Also, this camera has a Wi-Fi feature, which is really neat. I didn't think they could make something like that, but I'm so glad that it has that. So as I'm taking photos or videos, I can download the Canon app on my phone. I was sitting there looking around for my phone. You guys are my phone. Uh, so I'll have the Canon app and anything I take, I can sync it to my phone immediately. So like if I'm taking pictures of my friends and you know there's always somebody in the group that's like, send me those photos in the next 30 seconds or you're not getting tagged. So that'll be really nice to have the Wi-Fi feature. I can take really good photos on my camera and not have to wait to be at my computer to download them on there and then to send them to my email, then get them on my phone to post on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you guys trying to do. Also, this camera has this control ring and it can click. Did you guys hear the click? And you, if you don't want the click, which a lot of people don't, and especially if you're filming video, you don't want to hear the clicks as you're using it, then it can be silent by moving this little tab. So I can do click. Which will be nice if you know you're trying to get to the setting that's like two spots over, then you can do it. Okay, guys, so I am going to go charge my batteries. I have to run to my kickball game. It literally starts in like 20 minutes, and it's like 20 minutes away. So I gotta go like right now. Let me charge this, and we'll play with it later. Oh, it's gonna be dangling. We're gonna have a dangler. Okay, guys, I'm back. So we won our kickball game. It's pretty awesome. So I'm back with my little baby. Um... I got some screen protectors because I want to take very good care of everything. So the obvious big viewer screen, I got some screen protectors here. This is supposed to fit perfectly and I wanted to make sure I got something with the dimensions because I don't want to have to cut it out because then it has a little bit of a bend on the end and then it peels all the way off. So I got the exact size and this was only I think $6 for three of them. So that's pretty good. I also got the glass kind. If you're not familiar with glass for a screen protector, I have one on my phone. I love it so much better than ever, any other screen protector. But you have to place it on perfectly the first time. That's also why I wanted a multi-pack in case I screw up the first time. <laughs> ah! I'm scared. Did I do it? Did I do it? Guys, we're just like a a tenth of a millimeter off. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Okay, it's gonna work. I think it's fine. You guys won't be able to see any difference, but there is the glass screen protector. I feel like a Lee University billboard. Okay, next we are going to put on, it's actually called a mag filter. And this is, again, this is the adapter to put different filters on the camera. So you can buy so many different filters, like however fancy, whatever you're trying to look for. The camera itself comes with a ton, like way more than I'll even be able to use. But most, the most important thing that I wanted, this is actually a UV filter that came with this adapter, which will block out the sun rays when you're taking a picture of the water. You know how the sun reflects, it's all white or whatever. It'll take away that. Um, like if you take a picture of a puddle, you'll be able to see the concrete underneath the puddle or grass or whatever it is instead of the sun. So that's why I got it. Um, but also it has, it protects the lens. It's like a dust shield because dust will get in here and like jam up the little shutter in there. Cause there's like a bunch of little pieces that go together. <gasps> okay guys, here goes nothing. So then this UV filter, I wonder if it'll show on my phone. Hey guys! 
So this is like a, this is like sunglasses for your camera. So it just blocks out the sun a little bit and it helps the sun rays, avoid the sun rays. So, I'm so scared. So it's a magnet and it goes on there. So this is what it looks like when it's closed. Oh, also, um, I got this neck strap because my neck has been killing me. And I think it's real cute and everything. The holes to hold it on for this camera are tiny. This is humongous. So I had to send this back to Amazon. It's only a couple bucks. So it's not that big of a deal. But I was really excited because that way I could have a neck strap and look like a full tourist. I just don't want to drop my camera, that's all. But luckily it comes with a wrist strap. So one of the cons of this camera is the microphone. It is on top of the camera, three little holes. There is no external mic option input anywhere on the camera. So if it's very sensitive to wind noise. If you're on top of a mountain, if you're just outside walking around, it's very, you know, that wind noise that no one likes to hear. And so I was looking up little microphone muffs that you can put on the camera. They're like $15 a piece. So I went to the craft store and I'm going to DIY this. Let's hope it works. Materials needed for this are super glue, an exacto knife, whatever kind of color fur you want for your microphone on the camera. <laughs> I chose this funky brown color and double sided adhesive. Some people use Velcro, but I didn't want it to stick up too high. So, got, so I got the adhesive scissors to cut things out and a cutting board so you don't damage your table and a paper towel because you always need a paper towel so first i'm going to cut this out with the dimensions of the camera so there are three little holes there i need to cut it around here on the outside um, and cut a hole for the holes if that makes any sense i wish should have done such a dramatic cut it may look a little funny Okay, oh well, we're gonna keep it. So now I need to outline and then you need to cut out where the holes are gonna be. So, I think just like this. So now I'm just gonna try and force it out of here. I may need to cut the other side. So this is what my little adhesive is gonna look like. It's gonna go on just like that. As you can see, you can still see the holes. You don't wanna cover up the microphone. That would not be good. Now I get to cut off a little piece of fur. Oh Lord, he's making a mess. Looks like Chewbacca done shaved. Here's my little muff. He's a furry little guy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bottom adhesive off. First, make sure the microphone is not covered up. Take off the top layer. Line it up a little bit and voila. I have a little micro muff. Now, to make it a little fun, he's shedding a little bit. That is so cute. Look at it, it's a little afro. I got little googly eyes to put on his face up here. Your girl's not good with the super glue. Yeah! There we have my little micro muff. Okay guys, so I have a fan here, a little desk fan, and we are gonna test out the microphone without my DIY little muff that I'm gonna make to put on top of it to save the wind noise. So I'm gonna show you guys the audio so you can see for yourself what it sounds like. So I'll do both low and high settings. This is gonna be really cool, you guys can like see me doing this. Okay. Oh, hold on, we struggling. Man down. Okay guys, we have low setting. Oh, we have off, and then we have high. He's a little tall, so I can't really see my screen because of his hair. I didn't really think about that. Okay, here's low. And here's high. So 
So hopefully there's a difference there. I haven't heard it yet, but hopefully I did a good job. I didn't cover up the microphone. I did recut it after I filmed that little clip to make sure I didn't cover up those two holes in the side. I, I think the microphone is only those three in the middle, but I just wanted to be sure. So I uncovered all five holes in the top and then adjusted that, but you guys didn't see that when I was cutting it out. I did that afterwards. We're gonna test the low light functionality of this camera. So I have the camera and I have you guys on my iPhone 6S. So I'm gonna film them both at the same time. Let me hit record. This is already getting confusing. Which camera do I look at? You guys ready? <laughs> I feel ridiculous like if my neighbors could see me right now. Look how dark I am in the iPhone. Look how bright I am in the camera. This is crazy. Fun fact, this is my first video clip on the camera. And I'm going up my staircase. It's so interesting. Do you guys see the drastic difference? That will be so helpful in my videos. Also, do you notice how many zits you can see? Is that a new freckle? Oh my God. I'm gonna name it Rosie. Okay guys, let's go test out the slow motion capability, capabilities. Um, I think I have to use like 60 frames per second for video mode and then I slow it down on my editing software so it doesn't film in slow motion, but it lets you slow it way down. And I think I have to do something with the shutter speed. We'll figure it out. Let's do it. the autofocus of this camera because that's kind of a big point for vloggers like myself. So I've got random items I'm just gonna hold up and see if it focuses. One, let's see if I put my hand up. See it still has my face. <laughs> the largest paper clip in history. So here's some words we can try. What about a book? What about this firefly? <laughs> what about if I jump out of the shot? <laughs> what if I just did that? Did it work? There's probably a much normal way to do this. So I don't know if that worked or not, but that is a very honest and true test. You guys just saw it, so it may not have focused on everything, but it definitely focuses better than my phone did. And it is one of the fastest autofocus cameras, or maybe a setting I was supposed to use. I don't really know yet. I just got it, so there's my test. Okay, guys, so that is my camera. I hope you guys enjoy it because you're going to see lots of it coming up. I know I am super excited. For all my current subscribers, I have dealt with the iPhone 6 for a while. You guys definitely deserve the upgraded footage, so I am super pumped. And before I exit this video, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the time lapses I've done. I did a star trail, which is an option on here. I did a star time lapse. I did a sun time lapse. I did a sunrise, a sunset. And if it's not included at the end of this video, it's because it turned out crappy. So enjoy the footage I took. I took lots of pictures. And thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.